what's up homies and home shreds? It's your favorite herbivore, J Shredosaurus. Shreds. Welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. So this is what I'm gonna be eating for you guys today. Right here, it is purple basil veggie rolls. It's vegan sushi from Whole Foods. Oh God, I think I just killed a piece. But Thank God it's vegan. Look at that. Check that out. The purple sushi. We have our soy sauce and we have our wasabi. And then of course we have the pieces of ginger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the soy sauce on top of the sushi. Before we get started, who the hell knew that there was purple basil? It's such a nice color. Maybe if I just lean up. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna pour my soy sauce on top of the sushi. We're gonna take a little bit of the wasabi. So I'm not, I don't like to put the wasabi on top of everyone unless I wanna clear my sinuses out completely. So I'm just gonna put it in the corner. Oh God. Might have to bite it again. Hopefully don't get the whole thing in my mouth. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it closer to the ginger so then I can just do a double dip. That's how I roll. Get it? Sushi? Roll. Got that in the corner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... That's a little bit too much. First taste test. Here we go. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of just tastes like regular veggie sushi. Now, one thing I will say, got the wasabi. I got this three days ago, and it's been sitting in my refrigerator for three days, so it's not the freshest, but it's freaking vegetables. So I definitely think that leaving it in your refrigerator for like three days and not getting it fresh affects the rice. Now you can see the purple basil kind of gets everywhere. I, the purple basil doesn't really have much of a taste. I'm trying to see if, if it, it tastes like regular basil. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really even taste like regular basil. You don't really get much taste. You get, like, texture. It has, like, a interesting texture. It's almost like hairy. I like it though. Definitely want to try it when it's fresh though, because if this is what it always tastes like, there's no, really no point of getting this over regular vegetable sushi, but it's definitely more visually appealing than the regular sushi. I guess if it's the same price, I would probably buy this one, but. So yeah, inside it has carrots, cucumbers, avocados, and obviously the seaweed. I think it's probably nori. Oh, I can just read the. Avocado, carrots, lettuce, cucumber, pickled ginger, and yukari furikake. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but it's also known as a beef steak plant, red shisho leaves. I got my last piece right here. Let me get it all gingered up. So my overall thoughts on that, is that it's good I like it I like the way it looks but it's just like regular vegetable sushi so try it if you want but you're not really missing out on anything if you don't got a little bit of a mess here you can see I got rice all over the place anyway thanks for watching comment like subscribe and as always peace